All right, so I want to show you how to draw a flower. It sounds kind of dumb in Illustrator, but it'll give you insight into some of the, I don't know, some of the things we can do. So I'm going to come over here to my pencil tool, double click on it, and we're going to use this to draw the flower base, I guess you could say. I'm going to set the smoothness up so that when we draw it, it kind of helps us a little bit. I'll click OK. I'll come out here and kind of draw a nice little flower, and I'm kind of already messing it up. That's fine. When you draw with the pencil tool, if you hold down the Alt or Option key, It'll see, you'll see a little circle when I let go of my mouse and then the key, it'll close the path for me. Now, I can already tell this is going to look really dumb. So I'm going to go in and kind of redraw a little bit just to make it look a little better. All right, whatever. That's good enough. I'm getting anal here. Okay. Now I'm going to go in and add some color. So we'll go over to our swatches over here. I'm going to throw a gradient in there. And I'll go to my gradient tool and just quickly do it out here. So I'll rip some of these off. And I'll just go with a pink. So right here I'll double click. Go with pink maybe beautiful. Now I'll kind of just take this a little bit and maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger here. Let me pull this out a little bit. There we go. Move it down. Awesome. Now, here's the magic. I'm going to go in and take this object and turn it into a flower. To do that, we're just going to start out with a flower base. Now to create a flower, you guys, it's you could spend a lot of time and let's make this look great. I'm just going to try and get through this, but we're going to go in through and we're going to transform it. So we're going to do what's called transform each. There's a great little feature up here that allows you to take an object, scale it, rotate it, move it, do whatever you need to do, even randomize it, which is kind of cool. With preview turned on, you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to scale it a bit. Maybe I'll try like 75%. I don't want to get too crazy. And I'll rotate it a bit. I don't want to get too nuts either. And we will copy it finally. Now, what I want to do is I want to take that copy and we're going to replicate or repeat this transformation. So in Illustrator, which is what's really cool is there's a shortcut here called Transform Again. So Control D. Every time I hit Control D or Command D on Mac, it'll just transform it again. Well, there we go. There's my flower base. Now, like I said, you guys, we could spend a lot of time in this, make it look better, go to each individual object, try and you know set it up, make it look a little better. Anyway, there's my flower base. We can go in now and we can start to create copies of this. So with it all selected, if I hold down Alter Option on Mac, and just start creating copies of the base, what we can do is then turn these into different kinds of flowers. So if I select each one independently, I'm going to select all the different pieces for each one, I should say. Go up to Effect. Even do this in the Appearance panel if you want. We can choose Distort and Transform and try a bunch of different things. Like, I'm going to try Pucker and Blow. These are my favorite. This is basically one of my favorites here. So what we can do is we can kind of bloat the flower a little bit. You guys take a look. Turn it into kind of a whimsical little flower if you want, or something... You guys, we're not going for total realism here. I'd probably hand draw things, but I'll go for a little bloat on that one. I'll come to this one and try a little, whoops, try a little pucker on that one. So I'll go to effect, pucker and bloat. Try a little pucker on that one. If you guys take a look, kind of like a little thistle type thing. There we go, not too bad. Now, of course, I can change the colors on all these, and we can do that pretty simply. But And I'll just keep going here. You guys can try all sorts of different effects, different uh, distort and transform things, like... Roughen, tweak, zigzag, all these different things here. So if I preview this, you guys can kind of see what I can do here. Go with an absolute roughen here. Just kind of roughen the edges, make it look a little bit uh, gray paper-ish. There we go. And each flower base then I can go to and just kind of change. So And then also, once I select each one of these and I go to the gradient for each one, you guys can see here, what I can wind up doing is just coming over to the gradient panel on the right and maybe just try a different color, like a yellow or something like that whatever I want to do, and it changes the entire flower. A lot of cool things we can do with these, you guys, and one of the best parts about this is once you select the object, you'll see the base is still there. And the reason why is because we've applied effects, right? So if I go over to the Appearance panel, you can see the pucker and bloat, the stroke, the fill, the opacity. So if I come and I want to change, let's say, how much it's bloated or puckered or whatever, I can click on the effect and just kind of, you know, give it a little tweak, do what I want to do. So there we go. Just... Like I said, quick, easy way to create flowers. You guys can do a great job at this, I'm sure. I tried to get this done pretty quick, but there you go.